culture it was at its best at the, uh, the, the homecoming event at uh, Pandai in the northern region. For the first time in uh, recent years, the Nawuri youth were exposed to rare time warriors. Uh, viewers are cautioned that the pictures could be very disturbing. <laughs> The major street of Pandai came alive as hundreds of people from the Nauri tribe participated in the homecoming. The occasion served as a conduit for unification among members of the tribe as the occasion was marked for the first in more than two decades. We are all coming together to show that we are people somewhere, we have a culture, we need to know each other, we need to fraternize. Some of us don't even know the youth, and the youth don't even know us. So when we come together, we know each other. The Nauris, with a unique culture, are among the minority ethnic groups in the country. For four days, the tribe exhibited their cultural prowess. Their native food, prepared from yam and palm oil, was sprinkled to their ancestors during a procession. Animals which crossed the procession were killed and eaten raw by the warriors of the tribe. But why this custom? The chewing of the raw animal is not everybody. Anybody you see him chewing, that person has fortified himself, symbolizing some kind of powers that their grandfathers have built in them. So that one is for only the brave ones, those that are men. When I say men, you understand. They believe themselves physically and spiritually. Other cultural activities were observed. Tandai is constituted by several ethnic groups, but the Konkombes and Nauris are dominant. A debate followed the public display. The Pandai district chief executive, Emmanuel Tatablata, lauded the coexistence of different tribes. Because Pandai is more or less a cosmopolitan area that we have about uh, more than six tribes living together. So what that means is that at the level who that you can step on somebody's toes and how can we forgive one another? And that's the essence of bringing us together. The Nauri youth express their determination to invest in improving education in the district. In fact, the future is bright. What we intend is to develop a five-year plan. Out of this five-year plan, we want to embark on education. Uh, the reason why we thought of establishing a scholarship scheme. And this scholarship scheme is to push the youth into, I mean, all diverse uh, endeavors so that they that intend to read medicine, read law, journalism and all kinds and they do, they do not have the resources we can be of help. History has it that Nauris are ordinary Guans and remain part of their Akan tribe but migration compelled some of them to leave Latte in the eastern region to settle at Ketare in the Pandai district. 